Dan bersama kita di Beli Berita adalah pensyarah University of Queensland dan pakar politik Myanmar, Dr. Gerard Hofstadter. Doctor, thank you for being with us. Now, first of all, um, Myanmar since the 90s uh, was ruled by a military government. Um, how will this victory um, change the politics of Myanmar? And will we see a Western-style democracy in Myanmar? Um, thanks for having me. First of all, I think it's a historic moment, at, as you say, 25 years in the making. But it's also just the latest step in a process of demo democratization. The uh, military calls this disciplined democracy, and their constitution in 2008 actually puts severe limits on what powers parliament has. So I think we can be cautiously optimistic, optimistic that the new government will change the political landscape and the future of Myanmar, but also cautious because the NLD won the elections in 1990 also. Mm -hmm. Now, are you also optimist um, that Suchi will be president or Aung San Suu Kyi will be president? I don't think in the foreseeable future, in the run-up to the election, um, they actually uh, attempted to change the constitution and amend it. Um, this did not uh, happen. As I mentioned, the disciplined democracy means that um, an amendment needs 75% or more than 75% of members of parliament to agree, mm -hmm. and the military controls 25% of parliament at all times. So that's highly unlikely to happen in the interim. And we know that the, the Rohingyas were sidelined during this democracy process. This will further show that Myanmar can actually move forward without the Rohingyas. Uh, what will happen next to the Rohingyas? Will we see uh, an, increase, an increase in the um, outflow of the Rohingyas into neighboring uh, ASEAN countries? I think this was the great stain on the whole election process. Um, Aung San Suu Kyi has been very quiet, has not mentioned the Rohingya in the election process. Um, they have been utterly disenfranchised and could not vote. In fact, there were no Muslim uh, candidates in this election. So I think all Muslims have been actually quite disenfranchised. And it will remain the major stumbling block, I think, for full democracy to flourish in Myanmar until this issue is uh, addressed. And I'm sure, Doctor, you've been to Myanmar on, um, uh, to study um, the people and also the politics of Myanmar. And I'm sure you can share with us what kind of investment and in infrastructure development can we expect uh, Myanmar to receive following this um, victory um, of the NLD in this uh, election uh, moving forward? Will we see an, uh, uh, an increase in uh, investment going into Myanmar? Uh, I think there's already been uh, an investment into Myanmar uh, in the interim. Uh, as the process of democratization was started in 2011. Um, but I think now that um, fairly fair and, and free elections have happened, uh, more Western foreign direct investment will flow in. Uh, there's a huge untapped market of consumers. But I think, and hopefully, the people of Myanmar will actually benefit uh, through education, through increased exchange with the outside world, and, and hopefully exchange of, of people. Let's look at Myanmar's relationship with its ASEAN uh, neighbours, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, um, the CMLV countries. Um, how will this um, victory um, change the dynamic of that relationship uh, moving forward? Will this prepare Myanmar to further be ready to go into the ASEAN economic community or the ASEAN, uh, the ASEAN community itself? Well, it's already a member of the ASEAN community. Um, it, was, it led ASEAN a little while ago, so I think it's already a, a member... I think what the election has done is to, to demonstrate that uh, Myanmar has arrived uh, as, um, as a member of the club, although other ASEAN members are, are having, uh, having little struggles in terms of democratization. Mm -hmm. And so I think what it shows is that Myanmar has, has opened itself up and will continue to do so in the future. But I think if ASEAN wants to become a people-centered um, community as, as it strives, um, there, there, there remain some major stumbling blocks, and I think one of them has been uh, Rohingya, um, mm. but other ethnic minorities too. Many hundreds of thousands of refugees remain in camps along the Thai-Burma border. These are all issues that will need to be addressed in order to, to, to move forward. Thank you very much, Dr. Gerard uh, Hofstadter, uh, Pakar uh, Politik Myanmar dan juga Pensyarah University of Queensland bincangkan berkenaan dengan kemenangan parti NLD dan juga dalam pilihan raya terkini di Myanmar.